Can this little device reduce your anxiety and stress and help you sleep better? Or is it just a glorified shock collar? What's going on guys, my name is Dan Davis and today I'm checking out the Pulsetto Vagus Nerve Stimulator, a very exciting product that I've wanted to test for quite some time now. I understand that this is different to a lot of the other content I do on the channel, but definitely stick around because we all struggle with anxiety. We all struggle with stress. That's just a given. If you're a human and you're living, you have experienced anxiety and you have experienced stress at some point in your life. And a lot of us out there also struggle with sleep. And so what this little device does is it actually stimulates the vagus nerve and it calms your parasympathetic nervous system to help you calm a lot quicker and to regulate your body. So I've been testing this now for weeks and I can't wait to let you know all of my findings and insights about this little device. The unboxing experience was quite nice. It's a very simple cardboard box that you open up. There's some QR codes, you get the actual device itself. And then underneath you get some paperwork, you get a charging cable and you get the gel, which is a highly conductive multi-purpose electrolyte. The electrode gel was definitely the hardest part for me to get used to. I actually don't even really like the feeling of sunscreen on my skin. It just feels bizarre to me. I'm sure I'm not alone with that, but this just felt a little bit odd at first. Now I got used to this very quickly, but what I actually realized was for the first couple of sessions that I was testing this for, I was applying it completely wrong. I was actually putting way too much of the gel on my neck. So what I found was an easier way of applying the gel was actually just to put it on the little nodes that you've got. So there's four little metal nodes that obviously conduct that electricity. And so the idea is basically you just apply just a little bit of gel to each node and then you put it on your neck. Previously, I was putting it on my hand and then rubbing it on my neck. And I was actually finding that it was too much. Like I was getting shocked almost. So it was like taking me back every time it would start. There was this kind of weird feeling and I wasn't able to relax. But once I started applying it properly, it was more of that gentle vibration that they talk about on their website. And in terms of the build quality, it's a very flexible plastic neck guard, I guess you could call it. It literally feels like it's kind of hugging you when it's on. Very clean, simple branding. It just says Pulsetto on the side. There's a USB-C, there's those four nodes. And then you've got that really comfortable material that just holds everything together nicely. So you slip it on like so, there's a bit of adjustment and then there's just a power button that you power on and it's that simple to set it up ready to go. There's an accompanying app that I've been really impressed with. I'm using the light version. You can pay for some extra features but from the tests that I've been doing I've had no issues at all with the light version. It does everything I need and I find that I'm using either the stress or the anxiety session. So you can see there's a few different sessions here. We've got stress, anxiety, sleep, burnout, pain and depending on what you tick as you're setting up your profile will depend on what other options are available to you. They do suggest that you use this twice a day to get the full benefits of it. And I'll say the first time that I properly had it set up, like when I had stopped applying too much gel and I'd got it set up perfectly and it was kind of this tingly light vibration and I was able to increase the intensity just a little bit more, it actually felt like things were melting. Like it felt like a little bit of stress and anxiety was melting off me. Now, I'm not just saying that for any particular reason. It literally kind of forced me almost to close my eyes at times when I was doing some of these sessions. It's the most bizarre feeling, but it's so relaxing. And I didn't immediately just go, oh, this is working 100%, I feel relaxed. Cause there's obviously that placebo effect and there's an element of like, I have to do the compounding effect of it to see if it actually works for me. But after weeks of use now, there have been gaps where I haven't done it for periods of time. And then when I return to it, I definitely noticed that feeling again, that melting feeling. It forces me to close my eyes. I I noticed that I kind of melt into the couch a little bit and it feels like almost like a little bit of a release which is what I would imagine they're intending to go for here because you're stimulating that vagus nerve, you're calming the parasympathetic nervous system, and then that actually brings your levels down. It helps you calm, it helps you regulate. And I would say that when I have been using this regularly, I have noticed the benefits of it. And then when I've had little gaps, which were unintentional, but I noticed my anxiety and stress was increasing a little bit. So to me, that seems like it's working really well. And I have been testing this now for weeks and probably close to a month actually. And there've been times where I just haven't used it for a period of time, like almost a week of not using it. And then I'll come back and use it regularly. And I found that I would notice a difference when I was using it. For full transparency here, Pulsetto did send this device out to me, but I'm not getting any kickback. I don't get commission. I don't get paid for anything. This is purely just them sending it to me and getting my thoughts on the experience. Still to this day, I do occasionally kind of jump because it literally feels like 
a shock collar. It feels like it's electrocuting you very briefly. And so that just takes a little bit of getting used to for that initial jolt, right? It's not like an overwhelming feeling as long as you've applied the gel correctly. It literally just kind of makes you jump a little bit because I've noticed when I press play on a session, it takes about three seconds and then you notice the jolt. It's not the initial jolt. So that just took a little bit of getting used to for me. But now I'm at that point where I can put it on, I can increase the intensity just a little bit, and I'm quite comfortable with that. I haven't gone too intense. I think it goes up to level nine intensity and you can you know, extend out sessions or you can reduce sessions depending on what you're looking for. But I find on average, I'm going anywhere from three to about a five intensity and I'm pretty happy with that. Still feels like it's melting away that anxiety, even if it's at a one intensity, depends on how long you're doing sessions for and obviously like when you're doing it. But what I love about it, like I, I'm a counselor, right? So I work with clients all the time. I work through anxiety, I work through stress and burnout and all these different things. And I experience stress and anxiety and burnout as well, just like most people in the world do. And it feels very interesting. It's such a weird experience to kind of explain to people. But this to me has actually made a big difference. I've been journaling now for about six months every single day consistently. And that helps with regulating emotion and processing emotion and, and helps me just externalize a bit of stress and anxiety. But then this actually changes my physiology. Like I notice that I'm clearly less stressed. I'm clearly less anxious. And I love that you can do this as like a proactive ongoing measure where you can do it regularly twice a day and you can do it in the morning at night through the day whenever you need to do it but you can also do it as a reactive measure so you could do it in anticipation of something coming up there have been a few instances where i knew that something was going to create some anxiety or stress for me and i did this just before that event and i noticed that i was a lot calmer i was a lot more managed and just a lot more just grounded and central as I went into that situation. I'm all for trying different things. And to me, this was something that I've, I've heard about. I've seen a lot of research on vagus nerve stimulation. I know there can be some more like intrusive measures to stimulate the vagus nerve. This is a non-intrusive measure. It literally just sits on the skin. You put a bit of gel on and you get a little bit of a response. Like I said, there might be a bit of redness. There might be a bit of an itchy feeling. You might feel a bit of tingle or light vibration. But as long as you apply the gel properly, you're not gonna notice that and it is is going to over time feel more and more comfortable. Now it's almost likening it to like the first time you use an electric toothbrush, for example. It feels a little bit weird. It's a little bit of like a, oh, wow, okay, that feels a bit odd. I'm used to a manual toothbrush. Similar kind of thing. Like it just takes a little bit of getting used to, but now an electric to toothbrush for me is just standard. I don't like using a standard toothbrush. That just doesn't do it for me. Same thing with this. Like it felt a little weird the first couple of times. And I noticed, to be honest with you, a little bit of resistance because it felt a little uncomfortable. I wasn't as open to using it all the time but I persisted and it's at that point now where I'm pretty comfortable to do it regularly sometimes I'll just do it once a day and I still notice the benefits of just doing it that one time especially because it can just bring the levels down like if we're you know this is our window of tolerance and we're able to handle this kind of capacity or this output and a lot of the time we might be humming up here we're at kind of above our window of tolerance if you can just bring it down to that point you're going to be able to manage most situations better so if you're slightly above and it's able to pull you down huge difference. You're going to notice you're more regulated. You're going to be able to feel your emotions and you're going to be able to sit with that. You're going to be able to sit with the calmness a little bit more. And so that's what I noticed with this. It just took the edge off things for me. Now I have no issues with sleep, luckily. So I haven't had to use it for sleep, but I definitely feel like tired after I've done it. I feel relaxed, right? I feel like I would be able to go into a sleep state after doing this. But like I said, the anxiety comes down and the stress comes down after doing this. And it's so interesting to see. It's all about the positioning as well. You'll notice for me, sometimes I notice like the left side is stimulating the vagus nerve and I can feel it, but the right side, I haven't got that right position. So you just have to adjust it. And that's why it's great that it's so flexible. You've got the adjustment points here and it's easy to get that right point you're looking for. It's quite a comfortable device as well. Um, it does feel a little plasticky if I'm being honest. It doesn't feel like the most premium product I've ever tested, but I think that's intentional. I think it needs to have a bit of bend to it. It needs to be able to move around all different neck sizes and you need to be able to adjust it and stretch it to pull it off. So I think that's intentional, um, but just in terms of its build quality, it does feel maybe a little bit more plasticky than I was expecting. Going back to the app experience, it does a great job of covering all the insights so you get an idea of how long your sessions were going for. 
how frequently you're doing it, you know, what kind of things you might be noticing. And there's more advanced options. You can put in some notes in there and you can pay for a more advanced app as well. But for me, the light version has done the job. It's fine. It doesn't like force me to do anything in a paid version. I can do everything I need to do in that light version. And I guess it's more so if you're happy with it and you want more, you then pay for that more premium version. The whole experience of connecting it up has been very simple. You power it on, go to the app, press connect, and it's ready to go straight away. I've had no issues with connection. Battery life is phenomenal on it. I don't even need to charge. I think I've only charged it maybe once in the month that I've been using it. Great battery life on it. No issues with that at all. Um, you've got some music options through the app. So you can just play some like mindful music, some meditation music, some calm music, and that's all embedded into the app. And you can also like close the app, power off your phone screen, and it will bring up on the lock screen how long's left of your session. And it will give you some other insights into, you know, how frequently you've been doing it as well. They're so really simple. So you don't have to have your phone powered on and you're looking at it. You can just power it on face down and it will continue to do the session and straight when it stops you know that the session is over and you can go back into the app and do another session or close it out if you need to. Overall I've been really impressed with what this can do like I said I've noticed a, a difference in my anxiety and stress levels when I have been doing it. It was unintentional but me having breaks I think made a big difference because I was able to compare what it was like when I wasn't using it and then when I started using it again for an extended period of time it definitely helped me see the benefits of this. Uh, in terms of the, the kind of habit, like forming the habit. That was something that I found was a little bit tricky. The gel, like I said, feels a little icky, a little weird for me. In terms of developing this as a habit, I think there's just a little bit of resistance for me personally around using that gel, just because it feels a little odd, but that's something I got used to over time. But when you want to develop a habit, right, then it needs to be really easy. It needs to be like a low hanging fruit that you can just do and you know that it benefits you. So for me, noticing those results is what's actually motivated me. But in those early stages, there was definitely a bit of resistance. So for people out there, I just want you to be aware that it will take a bit of time to get used to it and to develop it into a habit. But you can set reminders through the app. You can make it nice and easy to, to you know, remind you of what, what you need to do and set up certain systems around the process. And that's also another way of helping you really get into it. So anyway, guys, my overall review and thoughts uh, are quite positive. Like I mentioned, build quality, I was expecting to maybe be a bit more premium. You have to be really aware of how much gel you're applying. That took some time to get used to, and that actually turned me off the, the process early on, purely because it felt uncomfortable. There was a, a shock element to it. But once I applied the appropriate amount, really happy with it. It definitely feels like it's melting the anxiety and stress away, which feels great because you feel it in the moment, right? Right? You actually in the moment feel like it almost feels like my eyes are coming down and I'm like able to just kind of ease into the couch. Like it, it genuinely feels like it's calming my body, which is great to notice that immediately. And then the effects after it, you notice a little bit of a lingering effect and you feel a little bit more calm, but then obviously life comes again and some anxiety creeps in, some stress creeps in. So I definitely would see the benefit of doing it as a regular habit and making it a consistent pattern in your life. That's where you're gonna get the real benefits of it. But as a reactive measure, I still feel that's a great tool. Like if you know you've got something stressful coming up like I've got a presentation coming up next weekend and so that's naturally going to bring up a bit of anxiety a bit of stress but I know that if I do this the night before and then I do it in the morning of the presentation it's just going to bring me down enough just to feel a little bit more in control and that's what it's all about right feeling a little bit more in control of your body feeling a bit more relaxed a little bit more able to manage the daily stress of life right because stress never stops pain never stops in our life anxiety never seems to stop for a lot of people so this just brings it down enough to be able to manage the day to day and to be able to manage those heightened stressful moments in your life. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. I'd love your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if you've tested a vagus nerve stimulator in the past or currently, or you're using one. Let me know if you've used Pulsetto and what your thoughts are. I really would love to hear in the comments. If you've got any questions, definitely drop them and I'll, uh, I'll make sure to answer them. And I'll chat to you very soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace.